That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Hmm? But Maya... So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow! Good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow's the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick! You must have really wowed him in there! And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP! Only one day left! Let's make it count! Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And... what? N nothing Forget it. I... I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director, but something in his work caught Vesquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high, and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in Little Productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station, if we wanted. You eat, you die. Woo! She's alive!
Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her! So she always gets away. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry! Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. About Mr. Hammer. Ah! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer! You drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it! Calling him a criminal? A thief? I, 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 I won't forget this! Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper! My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing! Why would he steal Powers' his costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low! It's impossible! I guess they're not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, no, no. No touching. Oh, sorry, Belle. Didn't mean to frighten you. D didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> I guess I could be a little dramatique at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatique indeed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are any traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. It, 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 hmm. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not so sure I'd buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control! He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow! The fury of Edgeworth! Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills. Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right.
Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... W what Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh... I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, has some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some... dirt? What dirt?! Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means! About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? W what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. W what Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids' shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand. How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! N nick say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is? A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Hmm. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. S someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do! Mm. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. You know who knows more about this? Miss Old Bag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk.
What? You still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Uh, everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Nah! Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Uh, Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, that assistant we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Wh Whippersnappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less! I suppose you think this is fun? Um, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume! You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Hmm. I'm sorry, Miss Old Bag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? W well yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Hmm? Ha! I, I bet Powers put it in there himself! Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay. You win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? I'm tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbag? Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. Huh? A photograph? Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him? Like, the director or the producer? Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? H-E-L-L-O!
M Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Hmm? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick! She's really ticking me off! Oh, dear. Hmm. She's not even looking. Where? But what? Where did you get that? I, well... Old bag. But old? She needs the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick! Right, anyway. Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The... huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Hmm. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick! She went inside the trailer! Hmm. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Huh? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but You were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident! Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Huh? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years, over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but, the security lady said it was an accident! Oh, well, she was a big fan of Hammer's, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. Well, what? This is valuable evidence! Boys. Uh, um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? 
I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, a race away. No! Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! Devas Quasi? You're coming down to the precinct with me now! <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared! Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Mm. Uh... Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Uh... Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick! It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? Divas Gaze. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Power. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Redgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? Hmm? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I am not here. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick! I know she did it! Make her pay! Witness testimony. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm. There's a van at Studio Two. 
I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. I... I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick! Let's do it! Cross-examination. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick? Find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said, somewhere! Ha! As I thought! You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not! Wh what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's... a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare! Ugh! <sighs> Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Ugh. I... I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! Ah! M mr Wright! It isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was, worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Hmm. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vesquez. Good luck, Nick! Let's see... What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! <laughs> you see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case! 
Hmm. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But where is the murder weapon? Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Uh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon, then. Look at this photo. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright! What is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? HAS HAPPENED AGAIN! <gasps> Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss Diva Skaze meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. So whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Mm. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Hmm. Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and return to the trailer, all in the space of a 15-minute break. How could I have disposed of the body? 
<laughs> the break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jackhammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there is a way for you to carry the body. <laughs> Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Ah! Recall your testimony. There was to be rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Ugh. Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Salmonella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course, Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammers' blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Huh. Hmm. Um... So, what happens next? Hmm. Don't... Mm, me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... Diva Skays, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer! Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Wha 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 What Order Mr Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um uh, mm, uh of course it's as the witness says. Hmm Certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but uh there's no proof. Hmm? Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Urgh. What do I do now? I... I'd like you to testify again. Testify... again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? 
I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far, only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did he want her to testify about? Mm, well, yes, um... Hmm. Indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <sighs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it, too. But... but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. Witness testimony. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find a key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Cross-examination. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second! I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal! Why don't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? 
There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Objection! Your Honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Ugh. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending one person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh, I... I already said it was Sal who told me. The, the, that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. <sighs> order! Order! I will have order! Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vesquez. Hmm. Very well. I have a question for you. Erk. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. 
Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. Hmm. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day, five years ago. Hmm. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom! His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Y yes that's right According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs, in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. <laughs> so, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're too late! Ah! Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs! Manuel? Manuel? Miss Vasquez, please, try to remain calm! No! No! How could this- It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and- No! Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please! Please don't die! Please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose... again. Mr. Edgeworth, where is D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright, 
Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think he tried to frame me for the murder... It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me! Why did Mr. Hammers want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. He was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai. And so, he hated you. I... I think I understand. He... he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Is... something wrong? N no Of course not! Ah! Uh, N nick Edgeworth! Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh. What? Uh... Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. The skays would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, Edgeworth, I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Mm, right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Me again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Um... Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick! Tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so, the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change.
They went back to making kid shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time! I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. This court trial was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends.